In this video, I'm showing you how to create water features or pools with next to zero efforts. For creating a pool, all we need is another picture of a pool. And that's it. Okay, let's begin and I'm showing you how you can do this. As you can see, this area in front of the villa is supposed to be a water feature or a reflection pool. First of all, I'm selecting the pool area. I'm using my curvature pen. Then you need to draw a sharp corner or a straight line while using the curvature pen. You can just double click on a point and it creates a sharp corner for you. I downloaded this photo from Unsplash website. I will put the link down below in the caption area so you can download it and use it if you want. After making your selection, you should go to this part, make sure it's on path and selection mode and click OK. Now you have a selection of your pool area. Make a copy or a duplicate of your selection by using Ctrl J and after that you should choose a picture of a pool at the right perspective and then drag it into your Photoshop file. And then right click on the layer and create a clipping mask. And by using Ctrl T command you can scale it or transform it accordingly. If you want your pool to look more natural and realistic you should choose a picture that matches your original photo or renders perspective. After adjusting my pool picture, I'm changing its blending mode to overlay. And then I'm repeating these exact steps on the other half of the pool. I'm selecting this area making a duplicate by using Ctrl J dragging my other picture into this file Right click on this layer and create a clipping mask. And then I'm choosing overlay as my blending mode. Okay, we're done. Now I'm making a group of my pool layers. Okay, I'm completely satisfied with the results, but now I also want to change the sky. Okay, first of all, I'm selecting the sky. By going to select and click on sky. And then I'm creating a copy of my selection. And then I'm bringing my desired sky into this file. Adjust its scale and then create a clipping mask. And that's it. Now we have a wonderful cloudy sky.
and I'm choosing the right blending mode for my sky. I'm creating a group of my sky layers and at the end I want to adjust the colors so I'm creating a hue saturation layer and first of all I'm clicking on the greens and I'm increasing the saturation of the grass and then I'm sampling my sky color and I'm decreasing the saturation here because I want the blue color of my sky matches the blue color of my reflection pool okay I think it looks great but let's make another adjustment I want to use the color lookup adjustment at the end and I'm finding the best profile I like this one and I'm decreasing the opacity and at this point we are totally completely done okay let's take a look at a before after transition yeah I think it looks great if you like this video it would be a great help and support if you hit subscribe to my youtube channel and I will be back with more videos like this have a great day